So let me brief myself. My name is Ravi Kant. Uh, I am your uh, Selenium mentor. Uh, I was taking the uh, course for uh, Selenium automation. Uh, as this course is uh, designed for the people who are freshers and experienced person and the people who are uh, shifting from uh, one uh, stream to other stream, any kind of people can take this uh, Selenium automation course. And this course is, uh, uh, what are the prerequisites to take this course? The question come like this, yes, uh, some programming language is uh, required to uh, work with the Selenium automation. So what kind of languages uh, do I need to know? Means the question come like this, Yes, uh, we have various languages where Selenium will support to automate the scripts. Okay, like uh, Java, C sharp, <coughs> Ruby, uh, Python, and uh, Scala, R language, Dart, Go programming, Haskell, PHP. JavaScripting, etc., etc. Many languages my Selenium will support to automate your scripts using the Selenium tool. So this course is uh, designed for uh, Selenium with Java. As we go with the uh, Selenium Java, so we will be uh, making familiar on Core Java. I'll make you familiar on Core Java. Most of the people ask, Ravi, I don't know Core Java. People say Java is very vast. So friends, we are uh, we are not developers to know all in and out all those things, frameworks and advanced Java. We require core Java. Even C sharp also we require core core language only, core OOPS concepts. Okay. <clears throat> so what kind of core OOPS concepts will be covered in Java? Friends, most of the people are uh, suffering um, of not knowing Java. Simple Selenium is very simple, friends. Uh, writing the web driver script, I find the elements and writing a web driver script is very easy. Uh, okay, anyone can write the program of one hour or two hours training. But major thing is uh, technically it must be sounds good. Once technically not sounds good, there is no meaning for learning the automation. So automation is purely Java or C sharp, whatever language you sounds good. Then only you can build your programs automation scripts very easiest way. Let me prove. Let me let me prove you. So the official website for Selenium is a Selenium dot dev is a official website for <coughs> Selenium. See here, Selenium automates browsers. That's it. Which means my Selenium purely automates web applications only. Web applications means the apl <coughs> the applications open through browsers like Chrome browsers, uh, Firefox, uh, Opera, <coughs> Safari, like any kind of browsers applications open. That's called web applications. So Mycelium purely automates web application only, not a window desktop applications, only automates web applications. So what you do with that power is entirely up to you. What is that power? Technically, you must be sounds good. So most of the people, they won't learn about the language, uh, any of the language bindings. They simply learn the tool of Selenium. They say it's like we are expert in all those things. That's not pooch. So you must be aware of any one of the language binding or oops concepts. <clears throat> so so we must aware of core Java concepts. What are the core Java OOPS concepts which we are covering as part of this course means? Yes, all the project packages, projects, uh, interfaces, classes, abstract classes, data types and its default values, variable types, type castings, inheritance, axis, non-axis modifieds, uh, and uh, polymorphism, constructors, method overloading, overriding, Java strings, debugging, loopings, decision making statements, single dimension array, multi dimension array, user defined arrays, exception handling, collections, file systems, <coughs> type castings, uh, getters and setters, file systems. All these are the concepts, core OOPS concepts. We are concentrating in the core Java friends, all the OOPS concepts. So not only knowing the concepts, and each concept, I will use some assignments also for your practice. As I said, technically you must be sounds good, right? When I talk about strings, uh, a string related programs I will be giving for you for practice. Okay. Now. 
So on string, so many manipulations we do. First of all, we don't know what is a string class, what string class behaviors it has. With that behaviors, what operations we can do. And some programs, uh, word count, reversing the string, getting the repeated characters, like this kind of programs I'll be into. Whenever we talk about collections, Java collections is very much important, where we store as a group is a one collection. So we have a set is there, the um, uh, list, list is there, map is there, various types of collection classes are there. By using that, how can we uh, store the uh, objects, group of objects? How can we do the manipulations on the stored objects, on the collection methods? Uh, we will add the objects, we will remove the objects, we can delete the objects, we can iterate the objects, we can get the count of objects, all those things. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> like if you talk about loopings, for looping if conditions, I will give some assignments like uh, pattern programs like diamond, square, rectangle, triangle, Pascal triangle, like this. I want to print the shapes. Okay. So for loops, I will give some pattern programs. Like this, uh, each concept base, I'll give some assignments for your best practice. So knowing the concepts is somewhat uh, okay awareness and with that knowing concepts we must be involved in doing practically okay na? and one more thing knowing the concepts and doing practically besides i would like to uh, make your um, hands free uh, to know the functional flow uh, <clears throat> whenever you don't know any working flow of the program yes we i'll make to know how to we know that workflow of the program and if any issues comes while writing a program how can we debug it? How can we trace out the issue? While debugging only, it's possible. Okay, now I will I will show you how to debug the scripts also. Knowing the concepts is one way. And whenever we write a program, when we execute the program, uh, some show stoppers will come, runtime errors will come. How can we trace out? How can we troubleshoot it? While debugging only. I'll make you hands free uh, how to trace out, how to troubleshoot the issue. If any issues occur in a sequence code when you are executing, where exactly issue occurred, while well, debugging step by step execution only will come to know. Okay, so I'll show you how to debug the scripts also. All these core OOPS concepts we will be covering as part of this course. After completion of this course, Java, <laughs> we will talk about <clears throat> Selenium, friends. Selenium is an automation tool where which it automates the web applications. Okay, so one of the component is the web driver. Selenium web driver and grid. Uh, okay, <clears throat> using Selenium web driver component, we used to build our Selenium automation scripts. Robust brace, robust based automation regression suits and tests are developed using by selenium web driver only once you developed robust browser based regression automation suits and tests that the scripts has to be promoted to execute in parallelly many computers and many browsers with the support of grid component only where web driver and grid these two are the components of the selenium tool web driver and grid are the components of the selenium tool with using web driver we build our selenium automation scripts by using any one of these language binding <clears throat> okay once we build the programs that programs has to be scale and distribute in executing parallelly in many computers and many the support of the grid component okay selenium web driver with grid these two components we use in the selenium friends <clears throat> Okay, what kind of uh, uh, web driver uh, uh, concepts we used to cover in this uh, curriculum? Let me brief that things. Let me brief that things. <coughs> Sorry, friends, for the <coughs> disturbance. <coughs> Has I'm not feeling well, so I was recovering. That's why a lot uh, small cough I'm getting. Fine. So. <coughs> So web driver. So using web driver, I'll show you how to launch various browsers in different approaches. Okay, and also I will convert them into reusable functions. Friends, uh, standalone programs are not at all encouraged in real time process. When you're building any application, web application scripts, when you're building your system automation scripts, we never write any standalone programs. The standalone programs will work for that at that particular test case only. When you're writing a code means, when you're writing a logic means, that should be work for entire programs. For all programs, it should be make reusable. 
such a way we'll make launching a browsers is a common functionality for every test case so how to launch a, a various browsers just by passing parameters everything we we'll write as a dynamic programs only in different approaches i'll show you how to launch a browsers dynamically as a framework level usage <clears throat> And next come to that we talk about our browser options class and the profile concept friends uh, where you are running any test case so manually you are testing any any test case means uh, your involvement will be there in each step of a test case a test case consists various steps each step your involvement will be there when we are conducting testing in manual if any disturbance occurs during testing manually your intervention will be there like notification comes you can handle it manually any certificate error comes you can handle it manually any proxy settings you can handle it manually and if you want to maximize the browser yes you can if any notifications comes you can handle it manually so like so all these things you can do it manually because it you are doing in manually everything right so when you are automating the scripts when you are automating web applications so like what are the things i said disabling information bars page loading certificate errors proxy settings automation who is the responsible person to handle such kind of things means automation engineer only is the responsible person to handle such kind of uh, occurrences happen so what to do we have to take the browsers into our controls we have to take the browsers into our controls how can we take a browsers into our controls means just by creating the browser profiles like firefox user defined profile firefox is a defined profile once i take the browsers into my control just by creating profiling concept so my browsers into my control on my user defined browser profiles i can handle the disabling the notifications maximizing the browsers disabling the information bars and certificate errors proxy settings any anything can be handled just by creating our user defined browser profiles i'll show you how to create user profiles for firefox and chrome all those things how can we handle such kind of events occurs during automation so profile concepts and options class combinations we can handle any kind of things okay through this profile concepts and uh, synchronizations so friends here our automation script is very fast in executions whereas our web driver elements web uh, our web application elements are very slow in loading it when we when, once we load any application it takes some time to load all the web elements in a page <laughs> so script is very fast in execution and whereas uh, application is very slow in loading the web elements where some synchronization issues occurs where it stops my execution so how can i make synchronization between these two so we use some synchronization mechanisms like thread dots we implicit wait explicit wait how can we sync between these two script with the web application so we'll talk all those things and come to the locators friends here when we are doing automation how do i interact the web elements so we have many web elements like text boxes buttons check box links web tables web calendars drop downs <coughs> images okay radio buttons check boxes varieties of web elements are there as a automation engineer how do i i know this check box to interact how do i know this text box to interact yes every web element have some specified properties like how the human beings has some properties defined for us like first name last name color weight complexity other card number ssl number similar the way every application elements have some set of properties defined by the developers by using that defined properties only we are interacting the web elements to perform the actions okay now of course we have so many very few properties we use for interacting web elements with that properties only will interact the web elements to perform the actions like id name class name etc etc like this so especially on locators i will concentrate six hours where people will be um, not confident about of the locators 
So three hours, three hours, I will mainly concentrate on basic understanding of locators. The rest of three hours, majorly I will concentrate on writing an XPath and CSS selectors dynamically with showing some examples. So you will become hands-free on write to XPath and CSS while following the rules and regulations. For each and every concepts, we have well we have well defined notes is there. Each and uh, rule, well, uh, we are following some syntaxes, how to build XPath and CSS selectors. Three, three hours will be working especially on XPath and CSS. Basic understanding XPath, three hours totally. Six hours, I will make uh, hands-free on how to identify the elements using all the locators and coming to the Marvin project. So in real time, when we are building any project, uh, we use some build we have so many build tools are there marvin and gradle like this so many build tools are there marvin is one of the build tool where we used to build every project in this tool and we will be uh, running the goals and we will be running the programs we will add the dependencies we add the plugins what not everything we'll do we'll execute the programs through marvin build only okay and test engine where selenium itself don't have any framework to build your automation scripts, Selenium itself, it never provides any framework. Any built-in frameworks are not exist by the Selenium. So we must use some third-party uh, uh, tools and the frameworks only. If you want, I can prove that. See here, if you open this uh, official website of Selenium, if I click on the downloads link here, uh, if we come a little bit down, if we come a little bit down, uh, if I click on other languages exist in this linker, here we can see. Selenium can be extended in different ways. Here are a number of drivers, language bindings, plugins, and frameworks created and maintained by the third parties, which means drivers. Drivers means, friends, sir, uh, browser drivers. Friends, now, to make you understand, in our in our computer, if you want to play the audio, audio drivers are necessary. If you want to play the video, means video drivers are necessary. Similarly, when we are automating the scripts uh, to execute in various browsers, which browser to execute that browser driver exe file is necessary. That browser drivers also developed and maintained by the third parties. Coming to the bindings, language bindings like Java, C sharp, whatever you are talking, all these language bindings also are created and maintained by the third parties only and plugins and frameworks all are created and maintained by the third parties a selenium is one platform where it provides to automate your scripts by using the third party developed drivers bindings plugins and frameworks understanding all right so friends what is the framework generally tell me why we have to use frameworks <laughs> Why do you have to use the frameworks to build application? Can anyone tell me the answer? Come on, friends. Why we have to use framework? <coughs> Can anyone tell me answer for this? Frameworks are used to uh, reduce the duplication in coding standard used by the different uh, uh, automation engineers. It also helps to expedite the automation process, uh, reducing the uh, in order to write uh, the methods, uh, same method uh, or same approach of coding. Uh, okay. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone to say? Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> Any more answers for the framework? You want to see? Come on, friends. What is the framework? Why we have to use the framework? Come on, anyone? Any more? <laughs> Can you please get a mute? Friends, 
प्रिंस मैं गेटिंग सम डिस्टरबेंस कैन यू प्लीज बी श्रीधर 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 श्र
for to uh, execute your test cases we required uh, so many types of test data we required to run your test case steps we have to well organize the test data in various data sources like properties files xml files and microsoft excels etc etc and we used to maintain some uh, uh, pre defined predefined libraries like uh, user defined libraries like uh, uh, generic uh, user defined libraries application specific user defined libraries and validation libraries like different different uh, libraries we used to define okay as category so everything has to be well organized and we have to report the uh, uh, test case steps we have to report the test case steps all the reportings everything has to be well organized if any changes happens if any new request comes any any change request comes it will be very uh, useful it will be very helpful to organize the things when you are writing a code means it should be very reusable it should be very optimistic way so how can we achieve this all these concepts means by using some well structured well defined framework only we can achieve all these things we can make our work very simplified very simplicity okay without following any predefined framework uh, how can we achieve the goals even we we want to do some achievement we we having some targets in our uh, coming days so do we, do we want to get in a good job so we have to go as a plan first of all we have to enquire for best trainer then we have to uh, well train then not only training we have to do well practicing then only we can reach the goal to achieve the right job a similar way if we want to achieve the uh, right good project means uh, uh, we have to use some well structured framework we have to organize well wellly in all the things everything should be integrated in the same way right so we have to use some structured framework to build your projects so even uh, drivers uh, bindings uh, plugins frameworks everything are created and maintained by the third parties only here right now we are talking about test ng framework test ng is not a selim defined framework it's a java defined framework test ng is a java defined framework so in using test ng framework only we build every projects there we talk about annotations so many annotations are there in test ng before annotation um test annotation after annotation okay we have a listeners we have a data providers we have a, a test dependencies and the groupings and priorities okay how to run the test cases parallelly in respect to the classes methods suits classes okay how to run the test cases in a batch how to set the priorities how to report the test cases how to parameterize okay how to re how to rerun the failed test cases if any test case uh, fails twice or thrice all these things we will talk in 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 form of uh, test ng framework for 7 to 9 hours how to convert all test case into test ng suits uh, and how can we run the suits parallelly uh, through converting xml suits or through programmatically also how can we run test cases parallelly everything i'll show you So uh, we'll do one small mini project also on test ng, okay, na to make you understand. Mm -hmm. And coming to the page object model, there itself meaning says uh, in web applications we have a number of pages together we call as a web applic uh, application. So suppose login is one page, registration is one page, add to cart is one page, women's wear is one page. Like these all together pages we call as a web application. each page has some group of web elements so each page having some web elements and operations each page level web elements operations we are organizing in a separate java class that class functionalities elements we are using in our in our test ng classes okay so all these things we'll talk about and coming to the automating links friends if you find majority of the elements in a application will be links only so how can we interact with links in various ways i will tell you how to interact with a particular link how to interact with a group of links in entire page how to interact group of links at specific portion how to interact with the broken links okay all these things uh, we'll talk in the uh, links on automating links and coming to the drop downs automating so a drop down means where we used to select the options from the drop down in a single selection or multi selection selecting the options in a drop down we can select in various ways one is using send keys how to select the option i'll show you 
by using select a class how to select an option i will show you by using the javascript executor how to select i will show you by using actions classes how to select the options in various approaches i'll show you and we are doing the <clears throat> automating the drop downs coming to the pop-ups friends once you are working with a web application so many pop-ups will comes and interrupt your executions so automation engineer is responsible person to handle such any kind of pop-ups comes you must be in a position to handle them to process your execution continuously so what kind of pop-ups can appear during execution means oh, varieties of pop-ups will come javascript pop-ups will occur html pop-ups will occur security pop-ups will occur notifications will occur browser notifications and uh, windows pop-ups will occur so like any kind of pop-ups comes how can we handle all types of pop-ups handling is different different mechanisms I will tell you uh, three three days uh, three hours we'll be talking about uh, two to three hours we're talking about uh, how to handle various types of pop-ups and occurring in the automation <laughs> and coming to the actions class <coughs> friends here some advanced elements can't be automated directly with the web driver then we'll take a support of actions classes like advanced elements like mouse overing elements once i mouse over on particular element then only some pop-up will be occurring that kind of elements are called mouse overing elements right clicking double clicking chain actions dragging and dropping elements automating slide bars like this kind of advanced elements we can perform by using with actions class only and coming to the javascript executor <clears throat> So whatever we does with the web driver, similar process we can also does with the JavaScript executors. Even web driver is interface and JavaScript executor also is interface. When compared to the web driver, JavaScript executor is more powerful. Okay, <clears throat> how to interact with web elements? Okay, how to maximize the browsers? How to minimize the browsers? How to close the browsers? How to backward? How to get the text? All the things we can do with web driver same process i'll show you for javascript executor also how can we interact with web elements okay and then coming to the automating windows components friends my selenium purely automates web application as i shown you in the home page of the website so here we can see selenium can automate <coughs> browsers that's it not window desktop application elements only the browser uh having what web elements it contains that elements only my cellum can interact and perform the actions okay here whenever we are working with the web application elements suddenly any windows related elements occurs what happens my cellum will do hands up in that case what do you know we having so many open source third party open source windows automation tools are there why we can use them okay we can include them in our web driver script wherever the windows element comes we can handle them also so here where auto it is there sukuli is there robotic robotics is there these are all the open source tools where to automate the window application elements so here auto it is the best one <coughs> reliable one where we can automate the windows elements if any windows elements any in a window applications you want to interact means where we can use auto it open source to we can we can download we can install we can write an auto it code and we will be compiling auto it code into one exe file that auto it exe file we are associating in your web driver script wherever windows components are occurring when you're running web application there we include this auto it exe code okay now once we write the code once we compile the code that compiled code exe file of auto it we must associate in our web driver script how to do all those things process one fine day we'll discuss about auto it coming to the web tables so in web table we have it uh, rows and columns in that in web table rows and columns we can find in any, any kind of elements like text boxes like links check boxes any kind of element can be present in the table set if i want to interact a particular element uh, which is resides under the web table how can we interact identifying the table under that identifying the rows in the rows in which cell having my required web element will go and we will be interacting to perform the action and how to work with the static web tables how to work with the dynamic web tables how to work with the um, uh, date pickers and date calendars and paginations 
all these things three hours we'll be talking about web tables only and coming to the various data sources as i said for our test cases we required some test data the test data can be organized in various data sources a log 4g properties files xml files and microsoft excel in this uh, using this any kind of sources we will be organizing a test data in any of the sources from here only we are giving to your automation scripts steps <laughs> especially on data <clears throat> manipulations okay all these reading writing mechanisms we'll talk uh, six to seven hours on this uh, all these data sources and coming to the grid where grid is the one of the component which scales and distribute of developed your web driver script in promoting to execute uh, in various computers and various uh, browsers parallel with the support of grid only for this we have to create a hub and the nodes hub is a kind of server node is kind of client as we say the networking is a hub uh, server and clients right similar way in grid the technology we call as a hub and the nodes hub is one system as treating like as a server node is also a system treating like as a client one hub will be there many clients will be there hub and node client hub and node all are is a system only just we are terminating as a hub and node so what the web driver code we are writing we are giving to the hub hub will checks the uh, hub will checks the desired capabilities on any of the node has on that node the, uh, the hub will be assigning to execute parallel so for this we have to do the settings hub and nodes all those things okay how how, how to install the drivers on the nodes and how to <coughs> how to execute the parallel on different nodes all the things will configure three to four hours will be working on a grid node okay so like this so we goes on on this selenium uh, yes selenium web driver with the grid right. next we talk about the devops so friends uh, here devops is a culture which will be used by the developers testers integration team deployment team etc etc all our teams all our sector people will be using devops devops is not a software it's a culture which extends so many components or tools okay devops has so many components like a uh, 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 marvin uh, gradle and build tools and svn um, vss <coughs> github server git bucket okay github servers and uh, um uh, chef puppet uh, ansible docker kubernetes jenkins okay like etc etc so many components together which we call as a devops as a one culture which will be used by so many teams so as testers we are involved in some of the components which is a marvin build tool as a distributed server as a github server <coughs> github server and where to schedule your executions uh, we use a jenkins so these are the three components which majorly we use as a testers marvin is a one build tool any project we are building means we have to use some build tools we have various build tools are there ant is there marvin is there gradle is there and this deprecated marvin gradle are available right now in the market so majority 95% companies are using marvin as a build tool so marvin using marvin build tool only we used to build your projects so once you build your projects that projects needs to be keep in some distributed server which is github server earlier we used to use a vss is one of the server that is a centralized server then after svn is one of the that's a centralized server now github debuckets all are distributed servers where once you write any code in a marvin pill that is organized in a that is shared into the github server what we shared in github server anyone can access being in any location which is distributed server <coughs> centralized server means only in one location everyone has to connect from there and you have to access distributed server means anyone can distribute anywhere they can commit the code they can pull with the code they can con co collaborate the code so you, what the code in your locally you are developing 
that will be uh, collaborated into the some distributed server. So others also can access your updated code. So once the code is uh, committed into the GitHub server, now it is a global. Anyone can access. Now later we have to execute the developer code, which is available in GitHub server. Through Jenkins, we will link to the GitHub server and we'll pull that code into the Jenkins and we'll be scheduling the executions. How the manner you want to execute hourly, weekly, monthly, soon after code is committed to the GitHub server, at what situation you want to schedule the jobs through Jenkins. We will configure the Jenkins. According to you configure, the scripts are going to be executed automatically through Jenkins. Once the execution done through Jenkins, there you'll be sending the uh, final report of HTML reports to the uh, respect to uh, recipients recipients uh, with the attached screenshots and HTML reports. Everything sends to the <coughs> described uh, recipients. So what recipients you want to receive mail after completion of executions through Jenkins, we will specify them. So Ravi Leila, something uh, mail I want to go to one completion of the executions with the HTML reports. Some John, he wants to mail to send. I'll do a number of recipients. Uh, to all recipients after completion of the uh, execution, it will send the mail with HTML reports on the things. So this end-to-end -end process will does by DevOps. Just DevOps will automate your process. That's it. As simple to say, DevOps is kind of workshop. Why I'm saying workshop means, suppose if you want to build a BMW car. So do you believe all the components of BMW, all the components are belong to BMW, which is no. Because why tires are manufactured with some other vendor and seeds are manufactured by some other vendor and bolts and nets and bonnets and, in, and steel uh, steel body and engine. Okay, all these components are manufactured by different different vendors, different different company vendors. And all together they are assembling, assembling to make as a brand new as a BMW car. Yes or no? And that's why I'm saying DevOps is a one workshop. So BMW having one workshop where all components uh, we assemble in BMW workshop only to make us a brand new BMW car. Similar way. So we are building the projects in DevOps and we are we are keeping a distributed server and we are scheduling here and sending mail to respective team. So everything is process is automated. Here. <laughs> okay, DevOps, we use these components. No issues, no issues. Uh, today only I'm taking the class, uh, like little bit cough is coming, no issues. So just it is, I'm going to wind up. Within five, ten minutes, it's going to be wind up, okay? No issues. So Core Java and often Selenium, then we talk about DevOps, and later next come to the project. Uh, frameworks. Uh, and uh, we have the frameworks, okay? Uh, Frameworks. frameworks. So the frameworks we cover, as I said, no right. Uh, test ng we cover and uh, we cover <coughs> age object uh, model, age object model, data driven framework, and uh, <coughs> uh, hybrid framework and uh, framework. So the frameworks, and lastly we cover the the project friends. These are the uh, things we are covering for this our course and benefits. Benefits you get of this trend. Benefits you get of this trend. Uh, friends, you will be getting the uh, soft copy material. So, uh, soft copy material uh, for Java and Selenium will be provided. And uh, you'll get the recorded videos uh, for one year you access and uh, and uh, coming to the third point, you'll get the source code. Uh, source code I will share through uh, source code will uh, shared through uh, GitHub server on daily basis. 
So whatever I do, the program like Java, Selenium, or project daily basis, whatever I do, I will commit the code into the GitHub server friends. Daily, I, you can pull the code from there. So all these are the benefits you'll be getting friends. And one more thing, major advantage of learning my courses. So my course will be helps to get into the job. Like a six to eight years of experience guy, how much confidence he can build, that much confidence he can build after completion of my course. And doubts are always encouraged in asking the session friends. And I also put more questions on you. So be ready. And I'll give some assignments on Java programs and also I'll give some assignments on Selenium as well. So knowing the concepts, building the web script is one part, but uh, uh, real time scenarios involvement is very, very much important. Okay, na? that's the main thing. So definitely you can crack the interview, you can face the interview. No need of job supports, no need of proxy supports also after completion of my course. The people who are so the people say it's like Ravi, I don't know anything. I was non AD background. Forgot about things. First of all, remove all these things in your mind. Just only concentrate on my subject because everything I was giving from the scratch, from the beginning, I was giving. There is no meaning of I was non AD. I don't know anything. Only you have to put concentration. Daily, you have to practice two to three hours after completion of class. Definitely, you can crack the entry. I can make you comfort in this subject. People are see all the people are not in the same level of understanding. Some people will take uh, slower learning people. Some are uh, early learning. There are people like this. Don't don't uh, underestimate your uh, skill sets. Everyone is uh, talented people, but only thing is you are not showing the right patience. Okay, now it's very easy, and everything I can make you comfort in the subject. It's my responsibility. <laughs> If, if, if you have any queries, you are you can always ask the doubts in the classes. Okay, and one more thing, friends. There a grid concept and Marvin GitHub Server Jenkins. These are the configuration tools. So what the configuration tools are there? I will make one of you as a presenter. I will instruct to do in your computers. I will not do in my system. Okay, then everyone will do parallelly. If any issues are there, I can I can fix up all the issues. So grid is one of the Configuration, Marvin is built tool. Git is one of the configuration distributed server. Jenkins, everything I'll make install in your computers. I'll do in your computers. Okay, now it's practically hands-on. I'll do that. Especially on these selected components, it will take 15 to 17 hours to complete these things. Okay, now <clears throat> grid the Marvin GitHub server Jenkins. <laughs> All the installations, Java, Eclipse. Okay, all these things also is my risk. I'll take care. Nothing to worry. Everything I'll take responsibilities for that. <clears throat> okay, now. And uh, the coming to the timings, <clears throat> as this is the first demo class we are taking, and uh, Java seller will go sparingly. Uh, five to six will be the Java classes will go on, and seller sessions will go on uh, six to seven, daily two hours. Okay. <clears throat> Like this, we can complete the course within one and a half month to two, two months. One and a half to two months. Max in two months, we can complete this one. Daily to us. Monday to Friday is the session. Is everyone clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the course fee is coming to like, I think everyone know about that. Course fee is like a 4,000 rupees and that course. Uh, five All to right. six. Six is the Java and uh, uh, six to seven will be the uh, Selenium. Okay. okay. Yeah. Actually, today you are joined for six, right? Any our management will be contacting you. They will be informing you. Okay. From tomorrow onwards, uh, Java will be taken care. <laughs> that will be like uh, uh, five to six and uh, Selenium will be six to seven. I think uh, tomorrow, I think the same timing that goes on uh, for tomorrow also, most probably. Uh, from most probably from uh, Thursday or Friday, it might be changing. So, of course, uh, you treat this as the same timing only, 6 p.m. only, okay? Na? Today, what timing you join, same time only you join everyone. Okay, na? please. <coughs> any any questions, friends? Any doubts you have? Please raise. Yes, please. sir. Uh, yeah, sir. Sir, my name is uh, Rohit, actually, and uh, yes. I have like, I have five years of gap and uh, now i want to start my career with the testing 
so like after completing your course like because this is something uh, selenium is an automation as far as i know and whatever like you taught us right now mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. it's a automation thing so will i be mm -hmm. able to like after completing your course and mm -hmm. with the whole heartedly whatever task you will give i'll do the those tasks so will i be able to like crack the interview and and i can like uh, <clears throat> like at, at what position i will be like uh, whether i'm a testing engineer or analyst or like like i don't know like which position i will be able to you know, uh, attain like in the interviews yeah so how many years experience you have sir in manual testing right now uh, sir i haven't done any testing like i like i was preparing for my government exams and yeah. i have done mca even so i have a five years of gap that's what uh, so I, i'm yeah, just a new sir for this yeah happily after a completion of post graduation mca you have five years of experience you're talking Five years of gap, sir. Actually, I haven't uh, studied my uh, technical. Graduation, from graduation, you are saying five years gap, or from post graduation, you are saying five years gap. Sir, after post graduation. Okay, five years gap is there. Yes, happily, if you want to put any experience, minimum two to three years experience uh, is required to put experience, sir. So you have a gap, you can put the experience, not an issue. But my classes, my my classes will support you to uh, get into the job like six to eight years experience. You can manage. Okay. Class, after studying this, like I will be liable. Uh, it's up to you, but my classes will support you to get into the job. Like six to eight years experience, you can manage. That and sir, at what position? See, position. Don't expect any position, sir. See, here. so as just we go as a uh, uh, associate, or we can uh, freshers means associate. The post will be there. If uh, three years experience are putting means you can put as a senior as senior uh, senior associate. No, that that is fine, sir. At any position, I will be able to. I mean, like at what uh, at which domain, I guess, like software engineer, analyst, or testing engineer, and like uh, which position should I search for now? Three. That's what engineer, I was right. This is automation testing. Test engineer only. You are considered as a test engineer. Oh. You are not. You are test engineer, right? If you are working as a data data administrator or data analyst like this, it comes like this. If you are working as a tester, means a uh, We have performance uh, test trees there. We have a, a database oh. test, functional automation test trees there. You come under functional test, uh, functional test automation engineer. Okay. And like after this, I won't be like it's not needed to go through the manual testing, huh? See, manual testing earlier, you uh, people used to do the testing in manual. Okay. Now it is go to the automation because why means sir. Uh, See earlier days, sir. Uh, we have we don't have that much competition. We don't have this many platform ways. We don't have this many browsers. Yes. Nowadays we have so many platform ways are there. We have so many browsers are there. Yes, sir. No. So, right. Yes. Yeah. Competition is there nowadays. So today you can observe. You can imagine. So nowadays e-commerce, sir. Uh, so many e-commerce websites are there. Flipkart yes. is there. Amazon is there. Snapchat. So many are there. Today what we today what we are seeing the feature in the web application tomorrow we may not see the same thing see some different new thing is coming yes or no whenever yes. new enhancements happen in your application we need to conduct testing or not frequently that too yeah. maintenance is happening frequently not now and then right frequently it is happening earlier maintenance happens uh, once in a year or two years like this happens because no that much competition is there no that much uh, Uh, platforms and browsers are there earlier. Nowadays, so many platforms, so many browsers, and also maintenance is very frequently happening there. So whenever changes happens every weekly, weekly, ten days like this, means sir, we don't have enough time to complete the execution. Not Man, only that, right. same test case in one browser, one platform. We have to conduct testing in various platforms and various browsers within a one week of time. Is it possible to do it in manually, sir? Do we have any sir. enough time to complete the testing? Same test case. I do run in a uh, Windows with the Chrome, Windows with Firefox, Windows with I, and Mac with all the browsers, Linux with all the browsers. We have one week of time. Is it sufficient for us to execute 500 test cases in all the platforms and all browsers manually? Is it possible? No, sir. Oh, no, that's true. If we make possible in recruiting many resources to happen, then can we expect uh, accuracy results, sir? Of course. I'm hiring so many resources. Like physical resources are uh, water it is. Okay, I'm uh, hiring various various resources and I'm trying to do manual testing. Is it possible? Is it can we guarantee that? Can we expect accuracy results when doing it manually? Accuracy results can we expect when doing manually? No. Yes sir. No. Yeah sir, that's true. Because we have very less amount of time. 
Hurly, hurly, we are doing testing. In that way, we may miss some valid defects. Yes, sir. No? Doing the same testing again and again. Windows with all the browsers, Mac with all the browsers, Linux with all the browsers. Repeated tasks we are doing. We are not robots. We are the human beings. We definitely do the mistakes. That too, repeated activities doing again and again. Same testing we are doing in different platforms and different browsers. We may lose your concierge. In that way, we may lose our valid defects. So we cannot expect the accuracy results when testing manually. So to reduce the time, Okay, na? for a speedness of uh, automation, for to get the accuracy results, we go for automation tools like Selenium, QTP, RUFT, uh, RPA, Tosca. Like this, so many automation tools are there in the market. Like this, Selenium is one of the automation tool where to automate the scripts. What we are doing, all the manual test cases, we are converting into the automation scripts in one time effort. That automation scripts we are making execute for many times in executing in many browsers and many platforms parallel yes or no where we can execute execution will happens very faster and less resources is required for this and we can expect the accuracy results as you instructed as you instructed in a tool using tool you have instructed the automation script according to the script is executed for repeatedly for many times so what you instructed there accordingly my script is executed if we both are equal use pass not equal means use as a pin we can expect accuracy results parallelly at a time we can execute with less time we can complete our executions less human effort and accuracy results we can expect while going with the automation tools that's why we use the automation tool as one of the best tool is a selenium getting sir <coughs> yeah yeah sir yeah got it got it thank you sir thank so, you and if any uh, existing students i think uh, six o'clock uh, four or five people has joined i guess uh, for that people i never shared the recording because uh, as you know that i was not feeling well since the past five days that's why i didn't uh, share any recordings the people i got the mail id is uh, like a seven people has paid the payment until now for those people today you can expect the recordings and the people who are joined newly today uh, if you are liking my trainings, you can enroll that and you also will get the recordings, you'll get the documents, you'll get the, all the um, source code also from tomorrow onwards. One okay. more question, sir. Yes, yes sir. Sir, sir. sir, sir uh, like, is there any prerequisite to join this course actually? Because uh, as I said, I have a gap. I don't know, like, any prerequisite you want me to like uh, gather some knowledge of about Java and oh, core Java? No, everything I was giving from the scratch at Code Java okay. is launch Selenium. I'm going everything from the scratch. All right. Sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hi, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes. I am also. <laughs> sir, is it necessary manual testing, basic knowledge about uh, for this course? So manual testing. Uh, actually, actually, people used to say earlier, uh, while learning manual testing only, we have to come to automation. There is no such kind of sir. People used to have it like this. So without knowing that manual testing concepts also, we can take the course of automation. Later, you can not issue for that. There is no prerequisite. No manual okay. that automation. There is no kind of thing. We can we can work with automation, sir. Because nowadays everything is automation only. Later also you can learn manual testing. There is such kind of dependencies. Okay. Sir, I don't know. Sir, sir Docker is a, that is a but if you want to Hello, learn sir. remaining tools in automation, like a mobile testing like web services testing for all these kind of mobile testing web services the prerequisite is we must have a knowledge of selenium okay sir sir another one sir docker is yeah. a tool or language as it is docker is also one of the component in the devops sir. as i said dockers kubernetes maven okay, that is, that, that's also you are teacher sir in this course uh it's not i'm not teaching that docker sir that is tool or what sir that is in devops only that, that's one of the component of devops like how we say marvin github server jenkins as the components of devops where docker's kubernetes also as the components of devops okay okay sir sir then <coughs> next one sir i am basically i am a lecturer i have i have eight years experience in lecturing only okay shall i shall i shall i is it good sir this course is for me 
Yes, yes. You are your graduation, right? You done graduation, right? Yeah, B. I am a bachelor of engineering completed for uh, yes. completed, sir. Already from yes. eight years, I am teaching in a uh, uh, PU college. Yes. I know C C plus plus is all along. Okay. And one thing uh, to say, it, who yes, yeah. Padma sir, who can take this course? I'll tell. I already starting. I said like people who are uh, non IT and like who are uh, IT also say non IT means like mechanical people can learn, electrical people can learn, B BSc, BCA, MCA, even pharma people also coming and learning sir. Okay sir. Okay. okay. There is no sir, 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 if, uh, if uh, any class, if I miss any class, means uh, are you provide a recorded video also, sir? Yes, recordings will be uploading day basis. Da daily, daily, uh, that will be. Yes. Uh, if I miss, means uh, already uh, you are uploaded that uh, video, yes. sir. That you can follow the recordings. That will be access for one year. <laughs> one year. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank so, you so much. Previous, uh, for previous people, I think I have taken three, four class, I guess. For those people, I not yet uh, uploaded the recordings. Today, you can expect the recordings. I already have the mail address of yours. The people who has joined newly, please uh, do your payments. Then you also will get the recordings. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Any questions friends, you have to ask for me? If you don't have any queries, we are good to stop for today. Shall I? Or do you have any queries? Uh, just one thing to check. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not. I was disconnected uh, for some time. Okay. But uh, with the with the new uh, uh, technology coming in place, cloud, uh, AWS, Google Cloud, and all also so. This particular, uh, I understand this particular automation course is uh, uh, based and uh, and it's like 80% of like uh, what automation needs are. But uh, my query is like, uh, how are we, uh, do you have any plan to cover, to integrate with the, whether it is the uh, um, mm -hmm. native API or like Apache or uh, onto the cloud or, or on-prem uh, uh, integration with the uh, with the automation. Uh, you are asking about the cloud automation. Uh, specifically, yeah, uh, when applications are moving <laughs> on to the cloud and and the next journey is towards that. Mm, not exactly, sir. It's not uh, discussing about cloud automation, but I will show you in a grid. Uh, how to execute uh, in a uh, VMware, VM, VMware systems, how to execute parallel and show that. But not exactly cloud like uh, AWS, uh, Azure, like uh, Google Cloud, what you're asking, right? Mm -hmm. I'll show in a VMware missions how to execute the uh, uh, same script parallel in uh, multiple view missions. That I can show in VMware. Oh. Okay. Okay. With the grid setup. <laughs> okay. That's not nice. Yeah. Uh, that uh, comes in the when we run in parallel executions in multiple systems. So where we I will show you how to run in uh, VM emissions. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the type and show that. Okay. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I am also some people are asking even I need to uh, think about that uh, cloud. Uh, some people are saying so we want uh, doing cloud automation. So let me uh, look after that. So then I will do that. But I'm not promising that because that's not there yeah. in this course. Where I can show that. The, re the reason why I asked is like uh, <clears throat> specifically now um, everything is like or most of the, the <laughs> conference are moving <laughs> on to the cloud. Right. And <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Such questions I had seen, like where my colleagues and and other uh, uh, teammates had asked during the interview. Uh, from an Not only testing, every everything, every technology is uh, uh, cloud on nowadays. Everyone is connecting cloud, and we are working right now. I agree that I agree your point. I agree your point. Yeah. <clears throat> I must realize. I also must realize uh, uh, for you guys. I need to realize for that. I also needs to uh, give the training for coming upcoming cloud also. Yes. Yeah. 
that's your valid point I, i'll consider but now for this i am not offering the cloud right now i look off that uh, coming days sure. mm. okay thank you that's all from my yes yes okay friends any more no right if you are not having any queries we are going to stop for today tomorrow same timing 6 pm only we'll be joining friends and uh, we'll update you when that java and silam parallel goes on okay but tomorrow onwards on the same timing 6 pm only okay same link. sorry sorry what what will you update uh, I, I missed that one uh, actually i take 5 to 6 as a java 6 to 7 as a selenium okay so that five to six is or is still on or like it's uh... sorry sorry come again so five to six is like where you are already taking uh, that the batch is full or like it's still uh, in no, no 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 i will take for you batch only i will take for your batch only five to six okay but uh, that will be announced uh, when that is going to be happen but tomorrow also same timing 6 pm only okay no or most sure. probably from or Monday it might be uh, split to uh, five to six is a Java, six to seven is a Selenium. Uh, from tomorrow, day of tomorrow also, I think same timing will goes on because some new joinings are coming, right? So I cannot disturb this and that. Let's go parallel first uh, three days as a Java only. From Monday onwards, we'll split that five to six as a Java, uh, six to seven as a Selenium will take. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so I was suffering a uh, cold, cough, and uh, body pains and fever past uh, five days. Uh, after five days, now only I'm, I came to online classes. <laughs> and luckily, I was uh, feeling fine now. Better. Thanks. Good to this. hear that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Friends, now is, uh, is very bad. Uh, these are symptoms of Corona also, actually. But the God days, I was... Uh, I have my two doses of vaccination. That's why I was safe. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Uh, thank you, friends. Thanks. Uh, a wonderful day with you. <laughs> okay. We'll meet tomorrow. Uh, same timing by uh, 6 p.m. with the same link. Okay. No time changes. Uh, 6 only. We'll have a control the classes. Okay. The same Java classes. Okay. Fine. Thank you, friends. Right. Thank you very much. Have thank you. Nice thank day. you very much. Yep. Take thank care. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.